fears are something a little bit out of the ordinary in modern day. From a survival point of view, however, and from a martial point of view, there's still a lot of interest in the spear. It's probably one of our oldest weapons as a species that we've come to use and rely upon. It's a very underestimated weapon system. I think its underestimation is a lot to do with the fact that it's so simple. It is fundamentally a basic thrusting, stabbing system. It's very uncomplicated, but it has a mental attitude associated with that forward intention of penetrating the target fully with something like this cold steel boar spear that makes spear fighting particularly empowering in terms of both in on the combative playground but also in terms of an attitude to life. It is a very much mission specific goal achieving attitude. Beyond all that though it also has a philosophy associated with it. Now I won't go into that here however we want to look today in this short review at the cold steel version of a boar spear. Regardless of what we're hoping to achieve with a spear, it's important that it is sturdy, strong and fit for purpose. Now this spear head is produced by cold, cold steel. Like a lot of their material, it's, it's solid enough to do the job. What I like about this particular spear is these large cutting surfaces on both sides. And then as this is entering into target, it's making its own pathway going in. So it's not a spike type of spear, although those work quite well as well. It has a reinforcing ridge down the center line to add strength and to accommodate the shaft or the haft of the spear itself. What's particularly good about this one are these protrusions left and right on either side. They prevent the entire spearhead from being absorbed by the target and riding up on the shaft. So if you are dealing with something like a very angry boar, wild pig, you don't want that animal coming up right down onto your hands. You'll get injured that way. Now the idea of a spear in that hunting, survival hunting context is standoff. It is to be able to trap an animal or otherwise disable an animal su sufficiently enough then I can now approach it with safety and I'll put a knife on the end of a stick and dispatch it quickly and rapidly so that the animal doesn't suffer. Okay, now I've placed a strain of hardwood handle on this particular version of the spear. It, in total weight, is about 1.9, 1.95 kilograms. There's two fitting screws here. I've replaced the ones that came with the spear itself with stainless steel just to add extra strength into that system and I've now got a weapon system that gives me a standoff of around about six foot and you can make this length whatever you want but there's opportunity there to do exactly that now I train in a old system of Chinese war fighting spear and in that system, the pole is significantly longer. From a practical point of view, in the field, that's not so desirable. And hence, this shorter length provides a very good compromise. In terms of the, the toughness of the spear itself, this tire that I train against, it's just a standard car tire, bead intact, and it's hitting that and absorbing that. And to take, if I go towards the side wall, it goes straight through it. So it's got the cutting power with the thrust of the spear to penetrate most any target. Right. The other advantage of these small prongs here are that when, we're, when it's in close, I'm not having the risk of hitting something solid and having my hand run down onto the cutting edge of the spear itself. The point of balance, as a consequence, is quite good if I'm holding it this way. The spearhead itself is made of medium carbon steel, so it's going to be durable 
and have a little bit of flex. Now, a little bit of flex allows that to have a lot of energy thrust behind it and not snap if it hits something solid. And when you buy the spearhead itself, now I haven't bought the spear and shaft as we mentioned, I've only bought or purchased the spearhead itself, the bowhead. Comes with a kydex sheath. So you can actually carry this part of the weapon system devoid of the handle or the shaft in your gear, clips on and keeps this secure in your, in your equipment. If you get into a situation I guess then you can basically pull this out. You can either use it as a machete this way or a knife but obviously the logical thing is then to find a, a shaft manufacture it into a handle for the spear and apply it to the weapon itself. But very good quality, good and rugged. I've had a couple of these now over the years and all have held up really well to quite hard wear and tear. All in all, quite a good tool. I'd certainly recommend it. And if you're looking for that type of spear, that's probably the way to go.